Uh, so the advantages of going global, right? The global firm. So what are the advantages that your firm has when they go global? When they go global. So the first, the ability to locate expertise and labor around the world, right? The ability to locate expertise and labor around the world. The ability to operate 24 hours a day, non-stop. Um, a larger market for their products. Now, once a product is being sold online, it is available for purchase from a worldwide consumer base, right? So these are the advantages that firms have when they go global. The ability to locate expertise and labor around the world. Op uh, being open 24-7, you know, a larger market for the products. Now, when you're, and once the product is being sold online, it is available for the purchase from a worldwide it is available for purchase from a worldwide what consumer base yeah so now these are some challenges involved in globalization for firms the first is what infrastructure differences different internet speeds right so if you're going to be on the internet you have to ensure that your internet connection your you, know, you have a strong internet connection if not you will find your business difficulty it's, it's going to affect you adversely now labor laws and regulations right once you're on the internet you are also doing international business so wherever you do your business you have to know the laws over there now legal restrictions now in china it is illegal to put anything sexually suggestive online interesting now language customs and preferences unique culture right because now you are going global you are go you are globalizing that means that different people from different parts of the world who have different cultures and different values and different ethics will now be working in your company so you have to find a way to accommodate everyone now the last is timing of international shipping right if you are shipping something to someone whether it's importing or exporting you have to make sure that what is on time so that can also affect you so these are all challenges right now what are the issues in the global economy what are the current trends right now right in the global economy yeah so welcome back now the global economy issues inside the global economy current trends see firms in the global economy face ongoing challenges related to cyber security data privacy and regulatory compliance especially with stricter data protection laws like general data protection regulation right so basically right in the global economy right where the internet is bringing everybody together, where network is working and networking. Forgive me, forgive me. When you see, <coughs> the network, internet, right? It, it, it has all the world together. And as we said in the global, uh, in the network society, not we, it was Manuel Castell who, who said it, right? So now the internet has created a global economy. So inside of this global economy, what are some of the issues, right? So inside an economy which is a global, whereby everybody has access to everybody, right? What are some of the issues? There's cyber security, right? Because there's crime on the internet. So you have to protect yourself. There's data privacy. Someone can just come and steal your data and expose you. You know, it's a whole lot of blackmail and stuff. Now, regulatory compliance, right? There are there's netiquette and there are rules in every constitution about how the internet should be used, right? So as a company or as an individual, you have to comply to those regu regulations. Now, especially with stricter data protection laws like general data protection regulation, right? GDPR. It makes the internet well tougher. To navigate and to be on right now other points are what geopolitical tensions and trade disputes 
are impacting global surface global supply chains right geopolitical mean you know it's a combination of geography and political but geo is what it so you're saying that different politics in the world like you see you have the you have the west you know you have the middle east so if you want to talk about all this politics they say what geopolitics because that's basically it right now there are, there are tensions between uh, various governments right right when i look at the wars that are going on right all, all these things cause tension and then trade disputes are also arising and this can impact the global supply chain i get it all right now environmental and sustainability concerns are becoming increasingly important environmental and sustainability concerns are becoming increasingly important with customers and regulators demanding more eco-friendly practices now i have to explain that to anyone in 2023 right basically speaking one of the issues is that we are trying to make the world a better place now at last companies are also addressing social responsibilities issues such as diversity and inclusion to adapt to changing global norms right so one of the things that's going on now is that companies on the internet these global firms they are trying to make sure that inside of the organization in their in every aspect of their business diversity is managed and what everyone is included like no discrimination something like that then to adapt to changing global norms right the world is changing right? it's changing so the companies are trying to adapt so that's what they don't get left behind yes uh, so this is the end of globalization thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe so that other people may comment and other people may like also see the video and benefit from the video yeah the real project my name is Seth Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.